हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल सेंट क्लिनिक्स हेयर आई एम अगेन विद अ न्यू वीडियो इन आवर रो क्लिनिक्स नाइन सीरीज इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द इंस्टॉल के वी एम लिनिक्स के वी एम ऑन योर रोकी लिनिक्स नाइन मशीन बाय यूजिंग के वी एम सॉफ्टवेयर यू कैन कन्वर्ट योर रोकी लिनिक्स मशीन इन टू ए फुल फ्लेज विचुअलाइजेशन और हाइपरवाइजर होस्ट सो बिफोर वी स्टार्टिंग आवर वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल and if you like my videos then please give your feedback in the comments so i uh, i can uh, no, i can understand what uh, i am doing correct or what i need to improve in my future videos okay so let's get started here i have provision a rocky linux 9 uh, machine and i am currently uh, login in red machine by using a ssh client okay uh, let's gather some information about the operating system that i am using in this tutorial okay first of all our operating system version is rocky linux release 9.0 and the kernel we are using is 5.14 okay first of all uh, check if your uh, uh, cpu is supporting virtualization technology or not for this purpose we can use ls cpu command the ls cpu command gives us a lot of information so you have to use a grep command to filter your required information okay uh, the virtualization virtualization vtx this line shows that our cpu is supporting uh, is supporting virtualization technology so we can uh, move forward by installing our virtualization host okay first of all set a proper host name for this machine okay uh, it is also a good practice to include a line in your local dns resolver so you don't observe any name resolution errors okay i have added this line you can i so check it my ping our virtualization host okay now refresh your yum cache it is a good practice to always update your software packages before installing something new so i have refreshed my yum cache and now i am going to update my software packages in our rocky linux open install okay there is nothing to do because i have already recently updated my uh, linux server so let's go straight forward on installation of the uh, kvm software here are some packages that we required to install
ओके इट्स माय मिस्टेक लेट्स इंक्लूड द इंस्टॉल टर्म हेयर एंड हेयर वी आर इंस्टॉलिंग द फोर पैकेजेस दिस फोर पैकेजेस आर इनफ फॉर हेडलेस इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ लिनक्स के वी एम देर आर मोर पैकेजेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल विचुलाइजेशन मैनेजर डेट यू कैन यूज डेट इज अ जी आई टूल डेट कैन बी यूज फॉर मैनेजमेंट ऑफ योर विचुलाइजेशन होस्ट फ्राम अ जी यू आई बेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म बट वी यूजली वर्क ऑन ऑन हेडलेस लिनक्स सर्वर्स वेयर वी डू नॉट हैव जी यू आई इंफॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल सो इट इज अ गुड प्रैक्टिस टू परफॉर्म मैनेजमेंट टास्क फ्राम द लिनक्स कमांड लाइन इट इज डिफिकल्ट इन स्टार्ट बट इफ यू कंटिन्यूसली वर्क ऑन लिनक्स सी एल आई देन यू गेट्स यूज टू इट ओके द इंस्टॉलेशन इज टेकिंग सम टाइम we have selected only four packages and there are it is installing 168 packages so there are too many dependencies one reason for installing so many packages is that i am working on a minimal installed toki linux 9 host so it the uh, so the kvm is unable to find its required uh, software packages on my machine so it is installing each and every one package by itself it may be possible that if you are not using a minimal uh, operating system then the kvm installation does not install that much packages on your machine because it will already found the necessary package there on the machine okay done our kvm installation is completed now execute execute this command to validate the virtualization host uh, support okay there are all of the uh, tests and supports are passed except the last two first of all the last uh, last uh, check about secure guest support is uh, giving us a warning well this uh, secure guest support check is not belongs to uh, intel cpus and it is giving us a warning because uh, i am using a intel microprocessor so we can easily ignore this warning let's come to the second last warning about i o m m u i o m m u is a i input output memory management unit uh, if this support is uh, in a, uh, if your cpu is supported i o m m u then you have to enable this support in your kernel module so our processor is supporting io mmu so i am going to enable its support in our linux kernel module let's see how i can do it we can edit the grub bootloader menu okay 
come to the grep cmd line linux command go to the end and add following two parameters okay write and quit now we have made changes in the grep uh, file so we have to generate the new grep configuration we can use the grep mk grep to mk config command to generate new grep menu file okay it is done now reboot your machine with the new linux kernel we have to wait for a while so our our linux server get bounce okay now login again is root user and execute the wait host validate command done you can see that the iommu uh, checking is now passed okay it's done now our kvm virtualization host is ready for working now you can used it from linux command line or install uh, virtualization manager if you have a uh, gui on your linux server and there is another option that i prefer to use and that is the cockpit web ui even in a headless server you can install cockpit for easy management of your uh virtual machines so i am installing the cockpit software and the plugin required to manage the virtualization platform that is cockpit machine i am installing cockpit because uh, if you are new to uh, linux command line then it is quite difficult for you to execute uh, uh, linux commands and manage uh, kvm from the command line so you can alternatively install the cockpit and do your work from the web interface and uh, after uh, some time when you get used to uh, the linux environment then you can also executes uh, a command from the linux cli okay uh, cockpit has been installed now enable and start the cockpit service okay the cockpit service is running on 9090 ports and it is by default open in linux firewall just to confirm i am executing this command okay you can see that the cockpit service is already enabled in our linux firewall okay so now open a web browser and open the url of your linux server and the port 9090 okay i have uh, open the url 
of my KVM virtualization host and use the port 9090 in a web browser it is giving me a privacy warning it is uh, it is due to the error certification authority invalid it is because of the uh, because of the our local linux machine is uh, using a self signed certificate therefore uh, it is giving this error because our google clone is unable to uh, recognize the certification authority since we know that it is not a problem and it is not a uh, hacking or breaching attempt so we can ignore it click on advance and then proceed to the ip unsafe okay we are now at the cockpit login screen use root user or any other user data that you have been using to login here we are at the uh, main overview window of our cockpit we have installed the cockpit machines plugins therefore you can see a virtual machines option on the left side pane of the window from this page you can manage your complete virtualization platform you can create virtual machines and manage them according to the your requirement okay that's all for now uh, i am leaving the more work on you try experimenting with this uh, web user interface and create some virtual machines and let me know if you face any problem in it i will try to resolve it uh, as soon as possible uh, till then i request you before leaving please subscribe my channel so you can uh, never miss a content from me and also your feedback is very valuable for me so please please give uh, your feedback about my video in the comment section thank you and goodbye